How are you all diddling? Good, I hope. I thought we'd have a... This isn't really a repair video. I just thought I'd show you what's inside a mechanical hard drive. Uh, this is an old hard drive I took out of a TV recorder in a previous video. It's uh, SATA standards. It's got the two two slots, 3.5 inch as they measure them. So a standard sort of hard drive you get in a um, computer. Um, like I said, this was out of a video recorder, a digital video recorder. But they're all pretty much the same. Now, I've never actually taken one of these apart, though I know at the top of my head roughly what should be in there. I thought it'd be fun to take it apart. So before we get into it, looks like we've got a controller board of some sort and interf interfaces for your SATA. I've always assumed that these plugs are some sort of internal. On some devices, they use them for internal temper measure, uh, temperature measurement. Um, certainly Apple Macs and that use this port or something similar to it. So let's whiz the top cover off and see what we can find. We might be faced with another bunch of screws. I have no idea, but I thought it'd be fun. So what I'm expecting to see is some metallic discs and some metal needles and probably another circuit board. Um, like I said, this this hard drive is defunct, dead, no longer reading. So, And though you can send them away for specialist um, repair to get the information off them, um, this isn't worth it because it's just TV recording. So that lid feels like it's stuck. Now, from my basic knowledge of these things, these are probably sort of airtight and sealed really well. I don't know if they're airtight as such, but obviously you don't want crap or dust getting in onto the onto the drive. Oh, I wonder if there's... I can feel like a little lump there. Maybe we should peel this label off. Let me get me a little label scraper. That's obviously the identification label. Yeah, there's a cover over that. This will all be going for recycling once uh, once we've done this. No idea what I'm going to find. Oh yeah, another screw. There we go. Ah, just like I thought, a magnetic disc. Shiny, isn't it? Very shiny. So the, these little arms here, this is what you refer to as the reed head. Um, so in a CD player, you have a laser sat in the center that reads the optical disc, the bumps and rises that are burnt into the disc. Um, and the way a hard drive works is, as far as I'm aware, it shifts the magnetic pole of of sections, which creates a one or a zero, depending on where it's sat. Um, there's nothing particularly harmful or anything in here. I mean, to be honest, if this was a working disc and I put the lid back on, I think it would be fine. Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, there might be some sharp edges. And I'm sure it's not going to like me if I push this, but... Yeah, so in operation, the little clicking sound you can hear is is this moving back and forth across the disc, um, reading it. I always thought they had multiple layers of these discs inside. Uh, looks like there's just one. Well, that's probably done it right, a bit of damage. Let's uh, get this little lever arm off and see what's underneath that. Let's just have to change my Torx bits to a different size. Ooh, uh, how does this come off? So that's that. That doesn't allow that to come off. Genuinely, in all the years of doing electronics repairs, I've never taken one of these apart. Never had the need to. Sent one away once for some specialist repair, but that was about it. Yeah, uh, I think. You need to take this control board off from underneath to access the screws. 
screws might come in useful later, I guess. What's special about, well, what's special about different hard drives? Is there anything particularly interesting? Yes and no. Um, obviously, it's amazing how they can, over the years, fit more and more data into the same space and bring the price down at the same time, which is like all electronics, I guess. Oh, so there we go. That's the little controller board and that those pins, they look quite dirty. Those pins just push onto this, this pad of connectors and it's lined up with a little plastic knobbly bit, if you can see it. Let's put the light on so you can see it. See this knobbly bit here? Yeah. So that just lines up on the board to make sure it's set in the right place. Interestingly, looking at that, they're quite dirty, those pins that sit on there. Yeah, I mean, they even look worn, worn away or burnt in some places. I guess that's probably the case. This is out of a, like I said, a, a video recorder. So, right. Well, the screws facing this way, that's what we were looking at. They could be, yeah, I think they're under these, aren't they? Yeah, so I guess all these little silver tabs are creating a, a seal, aren't they? Like a, a tight seal to stop any dust and crap getting into the drive. Which is pretty... pretty much needed. It's just a screw hole, I don't know what that is. You're finding out with me what is inside these things, I just don't know. What side's the thing? That's that side. How do I get these screws here? Can't see that you lift the head off. This whole thing must come off. Oh, oh it's like, oh right, okay. <laughs> I think it's a strong magnet. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's a magnet indeed. So I know a lot of people take these apart and use the magnetic drive for other like fun little uh, fun little projects. So that's what's on there. That's just obviously the magnet. I'm assuming the way this works We'll look this up and add it onto the screen, I think. I'm assuming the magnet is charged and that causes this to roll back and forth, depending on where it thinks it needs to go on the disc. <laughs> on the disc! That is. I can't remember what the project was I saw, that someone was using these drives, and because they're pretty torquey, because they're mag drives. Capturing. Yeah. I guess you're supposed to take that off to get this out, but you don't want to put damage in it. Oh, hang on. Let's get this out. This little thing holding it in. Just change me bit over. Very, very tight tolerances this is made to. Look at that. That's it, what a funky bit, bit of metal. That's got someone's hours and hours of TV recordings on it. So the motor is inside this housing, which I don't think it looks like it's stuck in to me, looking at that. But there we go. Well, we are, if you ever wanted to know what's inside your hard drive, it's like I said disc that is the memory a magnetic controlled uh, reading needle um, and a control board and a motor and the motor is closed within the casing so I always wondered how they repair I'm assuming when they repair these they can either lift this disc I guess they lift this disc out of its shell obviously in a clean environment and pop it into uh, a, a brand new housing and it you know as long as it's the same brand and that it would probably fire up 
there we go that's what's inside a hard drive hope you enjoyed that little video tune in next time what have i got up for repair next time oh i got a classic hopefully i'll get around to it i got a classic 1970s radio from bang and olufsen hopefully that's going to be quite interesting to get it does work but there's a few problems with it see you next time bye bye